lot of benefits to accreditation, not just a stamp and seal. So the consumers have a certain standard. The insurance companies, if you're in a state where there's no regulations, it helps you now. You've got a licensure because you can't get one in the state. There's a lot of benefits. Um, some of the states, they just say, like, I love Minnesota. You literally just have to get CABC and then you're done. Like, it's my favorite state out of like, the. I was <laughs> like, if every state would do it like Minnesota, oh, the birth centers we could have. Um, but it just... It, and some of them are a little stricter. They're above and beyond CABC, but you just have to know your state and the local standards. Right. But national certification, it just gives you to the hospital community, the EMS, to the, the community. It just gives a level of standard. I hit this benchmark because if they yeah. don't have that and there is no state licensures, how do they know what benchmark you're, you're rating your services and your birth center at? Absolutely. And you know, um, I live in Kansas and I had some birth centers in Kansas and we go through licensure of Kansas. And then we also did the accreditation. And um, one of our goals was why do we have to have all these extra reviews, remove the licensure. And so now it's, it's more like that. If you're accredited, the licensure reviews don't have to happen because they're lesser than the accreditation. And one would think that um, every state could have this great example, but um, the other part of it is, is insurance providers. So the third party payer, if you choose to go that route, um, oftentimes will not uh, contract with you unless you're accredited. So that's a big deal, you know, because we want the higher margin of pay to okay. come into our facilities and without accreditation in Kansas, a lot of them can't get it. So accreditation, it was beneficial in multiple factors for our state in Kansas, but Missouri, yeah. different story. <laughs> yeah, Missouri. I mean, even just I saw the recent ABC update that Alabama has got some backwards things they're trying to pass with yes. the bill. So I, every state is different. Some states are easier for birth centers. Some you have to have the accreditation. Some it's an elective. Some it'll really, I mean, I just, I would love to see more and more so we can set a higher benchmark. But yeah, people get overwhelmed with the accreditation process. Like how much is it going to cost? What does the process look like? And I know you and I have helped so many people through it that um, it could be three months it could be nine months it more is your timeline and your resources because people get overwhelmed with the paperwork side if you want to expand on that a bit mm -hmm. the paperwork side is 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 a is ridiculous however yeah. it's not so yeah. once you get it established it's then it's a matter of making sure you implement and maintain and there's it's pretty it's an organizational factor you know um doing fire drills, that's a requirement in businesses, in hospitals, and in, 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 um, anything that's licensed or regulated, that's a requirement. So it's just practicing and making it, you know, one of the things I did is saying, every time you have a staff meeting, do a fire drill, you know what I mean? It's yes. things like that. And, and then put on your calendar, you're going to, what emergency drills you're going to do. So you practice those things. And, you know, one of the things I always looked at is, and I remember having conversations with other entities like hospitals or pediatricians, obstetricians in, in uh, joint committee meetings um, with multiple hospitals. I'm sitting in there and I'm the only birth center. I'm the only midwife. And they'll get into this idea of safety. And I go, you know, we're accredited just like the hospital. And they go, they always stop and look at that. And I go, we follow the same rules. You know, our license says we have to do X, Y, Z, and we follow the same rules that you all do. However, I always go like this, sign here if you want it, sign here if you don't, because we don't force mm -hmm. families to do things to their baby that they're against, like vitamin K, but we say, we go through the informed consent, and if they don't want it, then we want them to sign an agreement that says they're not going to do it. And it's no different than the hospital. And yeah. a lot of times it's understanding that language and accreditation and how that does and doing the paperwork to say, I can value what you think I'm not by showing you the paperwork. So the paperwork is, is, a, is a lot of work. I get that, but it's really, it's really valuable. It will get you farther in your community in safety primarily and advocacy 
and payments. And so you're, you will actually grow a bigger practice through accreditation if you just- yeah. And long-term sustainability, risk reduction. Um, with our consulting services, to add a little plug, it's not just teaching you how to do the accreditation. We have packages and resources for all the indicator policies, consents, agreements. So 90% of your work is done. You just have to customize it to your local needs. That's and so- right. We've been really trying hard to strive, not just like one-on-one -on -one consulting where we handhold you through the process, like where do you have barriers? Okay, you don't have a whole administration team. You can't afford the labor yet. What are tools and resources we could give you at a fraction of the cost it would have done for you to make it that makes you successful with whatever direction you're going with your practice? So yeah, accreditation can be overwhelming, but I think the big challenge with midwives is we're so action oriented. We want to give great care, but then we're not documenting those normals where like we attended the policy, the staff meeting, we attended and did a drill. We, we've done right. these things, even though we're, we may or may doing them, but you don't have a defense in the legal system, or if there's a question of quality, we just don't have the paper trail to show show those amazing outcomes or standards you're holding.